Hello guys, let's get right into it. I remember back in 2021 when I was getting into programming for the first time, writing Python scripts. I remember how I was writing some code to just output in the terminal and then it expects an input from me. And then it outputs something like, you know, I'm like, how's your day going? And I'm like, good. And it's like, what have we been up to? And I'm like, nothing much. And then some, something like, so what's the answer of 1 plus 1 plus 3? Something like that. And then it uses an if else statement to check if I'm correct, if I put in five. I actually felt uh, interest in learning how this thing works. And then I was introduced to C in my first in campus. And I remember doing my final project on alien management system in C. I just remember how we had the whole of December and till mid January to do it. And then the whole of December was stuck. I was wondering, okay, how will I do this? Because we were told to incorporate everything that we've learned into the project, everything we've learned about C. In January, it was like, hey man, we have like two weeks. Let me try and finish this thing in a week. But I didn't finish it in a week, but like I put in so much progress. I remember how when you get the errors, you go to stack overflow, fighting with the terminal. There's some dopamine rush you were just getting from you know, coding everything from scratch, from being able to solve a certain bug that is simple. I might, I might have just, you know, you know missing a semicolon, but it's keeping me for I don't know. Yeah, it happens. You know, for the semicolon, like the errors, you just don't see why it's happening. Come to my second year project, and that was when ChatGPT had come out. So I started my project in February 2023. And I remember how I still wanted to do everything from scratch. You know, I was learning React and Flask, Python, Flask. And now I didn't want to use AI. I was like, I was so adamant that, you know, I want to do this shit, this stuff on my own, code from scratch, you know. But for the major errors that I got, now that's when I started using AI slowly by slowly. So this one is taking me a lot of time. Let me just use ChatGPT. And it wasn't that good at that time. So I was a bit shaky, shaky wasn't producing good code and all. Right now, I don't think I can sit down on a project without using some AI. That's a, something that took me a while to internalize. Because I got lazier, first of all. But, but, I had like a certain type of ego whereby I felt as if I am not, you know, smart enough if I just use AI for anything that I can do. I felt like an imposter making software with the help of AI. It's like I wanted to do everything on my own. And I'd only maybe give it the difficult bits. And the easy ones are like, ah, let me just code this, but let me code everything you get. And there are many people who are like that, who prefer to code their own things from scratch. Kudos to you. But I think I've reached a point, maybe it's the laziness. If someone asks me how I made this code, provided I understand the steps that I've taken for this AI to generate a certain piece of code, I believe that I'll have solved something. My biggest issue was the ego I had. Ego in feeling that I'm smart enough to crack this problem. So I don't want to use AI because it will read of the document, which is a good thing. But I had to ask myself, is the point writing code or making software that works, that will change people's lives? I want to make good software. So do I really need to code everything on my own or just get the help of AI or maybe the hard things when it can do basically most of the things, provided I understand the code that it's producing, saving me weeks of progress so i had to sit down and ask myself so what is the main goal and if it's making software understanding the basics is a must but you can vibe code your way to apps that's that's true however i think when making software you still have to have the understanding of what the specific lines of code that have been generated to do so you're abstracting you see how right now you don't have to think of how the networking happens you just open your laptop connect to wi-fi and everything's okay you don't think about the ones and lands that are around you for this internet to land on your laptop so you think ai is abstracting the labor it's like taking over the labor of creating software but you still have to be the mind behind it 
And there's something Andres Kapazi said in some video was uh, on how software is changing from Y Combinator a few weeks ago. It was like we're combining the mix of now the LLMs, software 1.0, 2.0, and then getting software 3.0, something of the sort on how the next programming language is going to be English. Yeah? And that was really fascinating because it takes away the ego aspect I had on, you know, I have to know this language to the core. I have to. I think provided you have the basics, you can work with the basics and use AI, create more using the basics that you have and still learn as you create. Yeah, people are like, you know, you're going to have bad code, you're going, you know, AI produces bad code yeah, and all that. Yeah, it does. But now, if you're starting out and you're learning, I see no issue with that. Now that, that's quite a niche because you didn't understand what the AI was doing and you can't push such code to production. So you'd rather create with the AI and move fast but still understand what you're doing and try even if it's quite difficult, maybe the code doesn't make sense, let it walk you through every line. Coding should not be the issue anymore. The issue should mainly be, you know, getting people to use the products that you create. If you ever felt like an imposter for using AI to code or someone made you feel like, oh, you're not good enough because you use the AI, then the guys who have made millions and you don't even understand how to code, just use some no-code tools and did everything. I have a feeling that coding is going to be like a calculator, you know, how you do math. You have a calculator, but you're still doing the math, but you're not writing everything down, I don't know. These videos for me actually, your value shouldn't be in coding, your value should be in how you solve the problems. Whether using AI, whether using whatever you want to use. If AI can help you move 10 times faster, even if it means generating the whole code base, provided you understand the code base and you know that this thing works and you understand if it doesn't work, this could be the issue. This line over here, this file over here, this you get go for it man you try to create your startup yeah but what do i know i'm just a guy on the internet anyway my rant's over tell me what you think in the comments and uh bye